If you do the mathematics very carefully, you realize that the black hole is spinning and spinning stars collapse to a ring. And if you fall through the ring, you fall not just through the ring, but you fall to the other side to a parallel universe. For many years, black holes have captivated the attention of scientists and science enthusiasts. These mysterious entities, predicted by Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity, have long been considered one of the most enigmatic features of our universe. While we have been able to observe their effects on nearby objects and understand their theoretical properties, the question of what lies within a black hole's event horizon has remained unanswered for decades. However, in recent years, theoretical physicist Michio Kaku has made groundbreaking revelations that offer tantalizing insights into what might exist inside the supermassive black holes. Join us on this journey as we seek answers to one of the most profound questions in astronomy. First, it's important to go over the fundamentals again in order to fully understand Michio Kaku's revolutionary contributions to our understanding of black holes. Black holes are made of matter packed so tightly that gravity overwhelms all other forces. When big stars die, they collapse, creating black holes. A stunning and catastrophic end to these stars' lives occurs when they explode as supernova. A supernova causes the star's core to collapse due to gravity, while the outer layers are violently ejected into space. However, not every collapse ends in the same way. When a core's mass exceeds that of the sun, gravity's force becomes too strong and causes the core to implode. The mass is reduced to an incredibly small volume by this extremely violent implosion. Consider a ball as the example. A bowling ball is heavy to pick up because of its tightly packed material. Eventually, the gravitational pressure from packing more and more material into a small area would become so great that it would substantially block light rays from flowing through. About one star out of every thousand is massive enough to form a black hole, according to the Space Telescope Science Institute. There must be over 100 million black holes in our own galaxy because the Milky Way has more than a billion stars. Even though it can be challenging to find black holes, NASA thinks that there may be anywhere between 10 million and a billion stellar black holes in the Milky Way. So far, astronomers have identified three types of black holes, stellar black holes, supermassive black holes, and intermediate black holes. The Event Horizon Telescope team took the first picture of a black hole in 2019. Scientists from all over the world were mesmerized by the stunning image of the black hole at the center of the M87 galaxy, located 55 million light years from Earth. This enormous black hole is so massive that its mass is 5 billion times greater than that of the Sun. It really is unbelievable. Matter is not always pulled into a black hole's mouth. Instead, it may sometimes bounce off the event horizon and be flung forth. Bright jets of material are produced that are moving close to relativistic speeds. From far distances, these strong jets can still be observed, even while the black hole itself is still hidden. Black holes have three layers. The outer and inner event horizon, and the singularity. Unlike to common perception, there is more to it than just a single, massive hole. It takes much more work than that to reach the nothingness portion of a black hole. You must first pass through the first two layers. The first layer is known as the event horizon, and it is the point of no return in the first layer. There is no turning back after you cross the event horizon. Once you are sucked into the black hole, things only become worse. The photon sphere, located outside the layer, is where light orbits the black hole. Any light that reaches this region will become trapped and unable to escape from the black hole's strong gravitational pull. At last, 
we reach the singularity, the third layer. Everything that enters the black hole undergoes immense compression at this point, eventually turning into a singularity. The laws of physics as we know them break down at a point in space-time known as the singularity, and we are unable to anticipate what will happen next. The density is infinite, and the physics laws as we know them break at this point. The fact that each black hole you analyze will be completely different from the prior one makes everything even worse. And now it's time to discover the true revelation that you have been waiting for. What is actually inside a black hole? And none is better suited to respond to this question than the 76-year-old theoretical physicist Michio Kaku from the United States. Michio Kaku is a theoretical physicist renowned for his work in string theory, a branch of theoretical physics that seeks to unify the fundamental forces of nature into a single, elegant framework known as a theory of everything. The theory of everything is a hypothetical framework in physics that would explain the physics of the entire universe in a single equation. The basic concept of this is that one theory could explain every aspect of physics. The theory of everything is also known as the final theory, ultimate theory, or master theory. It is one of the most important but complicated concepts in physics. The theory of everything explains how, what, and why all matter is what it is. It changed our understanding of everything and is crucial to our view of the universe. Kaku's relentless pursuit of a unified theory has led him to explore the nature of black holes and their possible connections to a comprehensive understanding of the universe. In his quest for a theory of everything, Kaku has suggested that the singularity at the center of a black hole might not be as impenetrable as once thought. According to Mikio Kaku, the best description of a spinning black hole was given in 1963 by the New Zealand mathematician Roy Kerr, using Einstein's equations of gravity. But there is a quirky feature to his solution. It predicts that if one fell into a black hole, one might be sucked down a tunnel, called the Einstein-Rosen Bridge, and shot out a white hole in a parallel universe. Kerr showed that a spinning black hole would collapse not into a point, but to a ring of fire. Because the ring was spinning rapidly, centrifugal forces would keep it from collapsing. Remarkably, a space probe fired directly through the ring would not be crushed into oblivion, but might actually emerge unscratched on the other side of the Einstein-Rosen bridge in a parallel universe. This wormhole may connect two parallel universes, or even distant parts of the same universe. This idea stems from Mikio Kaku's work on string theory, which suggests that the universe might have more than the three spatial dimensions we are familiar with. If you fall through the wormhole, you might wake up in a whole other universe, where stars absorb light instead of emitting it and everything is made of light. Quantum theories also suggest that this other universe might be an almost mirror version of our own, and that you might run into yourself there in a different form. However, despite these theories, conservative scientists continue to cast doubt on them by claiming that even the Kerr wormhole, which has been discovered, is unstable, and as a result impossible because of the strong radiation and subatomic pressures surrounding its opening it would be necessary to bring together classical physics ideas with quantum theories in some way, and Michio Kaku has done this multiple times, if there are 10 dimensions instead of the previously known four dimensions. These further six dimensions leave a lot of unknowns and non-knowledge for the researchers Kaku's concept of wormholes within black holes is particularly intriguing because it opens up the possibility of a multiverse, a notion that suggests the existence of multiple universes parallel to our own. If the singularities within black holes could connect to other regions of space-time, 
these connections might serve as gateways to other universes, each with its own unique set of physical laws and properties. So, is it possible for us to travel through time and space using wormholes? Relativity states that it is impossible to travel faster than light in our space-time, even if we could stabilize a wormhole. There are many theories suggesting that black holes might serve as natural time machines. Even as new detectors and telescopes have been able to tell us more and more about black holes in the past decades, scientists still have hundreds of unanswered questions about black holes. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more interesting space-related content. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.